Hayden, who's on his podcast, and he's going to have our, our good buddy Steve Tory on that, uh, breaking down the uh, where the station is. Steve's going to do it. He's the program director, at least to name, uh, and Steve will get an opportunity to have a nice conversation with Hayden. Good afternoon, Mr. Hayden. How are you today, pal? Okay? Well, I think you're getting ahead of yourself as far as who my first guest is going to be, but, but as far as tonight goes, if you're not glued into Terps at Ohio State at 7 o'clock, I don't know what you're watching. And good job by Rutgers last night. Uh, I know they didn't get the win. No, they played well. Coach. Yeah, I know. They did a nice job. Uh, uh, Pico's a good coach, though. He knows what he's doing. He's a good coach. They, yeah, they gave him an extension yesterday. To, to oh, they did? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, they did. You got more. Uh, you, you did more. Boy, you know more about it than I do. All right. They gave him an extension. All right. Well, he deserves it. He's done a nice job. He's a good coach, that guy. So, Any, anybody anybody from that Calhoun tree is a good coach. Trust me when I tell you that. Absolutely. He coached at Stony Brook. And let's not forget, in my lifetime, I would say Rutgers basketball has been even worse than Rutgers football. And what he's a, a trying to accomplish there is no small feat. I know the Big Ten isn't exactly where it normally is, but to, just to get that program off the ground, they were nothing in the Big East. I mean, nothing. That, that's just a, an awful program going back to, the, to their final four in the late 70s. But, Doug, as far as the football goes, uh, when, when it gets to the second half on, uh, on I guess it's Saturday, I guess, there's no, if you've got money in the line, who do you want, Nick Foles or Matt Ryan? I understand. I mean, uh, I, mean I mean, I get it. Uh, that will not be easy. Uh, uh, you know, I, that's a very difficult game to play because you're looking at it from two different ways. Like, from the Atlanta perspective, you go experience. They, uh, you know, I think they're hot right now. They feel comfortable. A big win on the road. They've been pretty good on the road all year. Uh, obviously, Ryan, they have the better quarterback. Uh, they have some momentum. That's their scenario. If you're looking at it from a Philly perspective, you look at it, they got a huge boulder on their shoulders because they're an underdog. I think they think everybody's writing them off, so I think that helps. And, I've, you know, they're at home, and they also have an extra, they got a week off, they should be fresh. So, um, you know, it's a very, very, very tricky game to call. I could go either way. I think I would take the Eagles, though, uh, and bank on... Uh, the motivation aspect and the chip on his shoulder. Plus, I haven't been on Atlanta all year. Why start now? Go ahead. Well, I saw enough in L.A. last weekend that I, I that there. I've been killing Matt Ryan for years. Everyone does. Everyone knows. When they, and there's a big spot. The guy throws the, the worst pick on the planet. There's no question about it. Right. But if it's if it's him versus Nick Foles, I'm sorry. I, I have to. Go. I'm, I'm rolling with Matt Ryan. I understand. I mean, if you're taking a quarterback in this game, you got to take uh, Ryan. And I, and I and I get it. I have no argument whatsoever. Of course, I agree. I think it's a major. Uh, that's very disconcerting. I mean, Foles was awful against the Raiders. Uh, you know, I mean, he is a backup quarterback, not a terrible backup, but he is that. Um, and I, you wonder of how he's going to navigate. He lost a playoff game in New Orleans a long time ago. Uh, but it, I could, you know, listen, the Eagles didn't go 14 and two for, for, uh, without a, without some success. They got a well-balanced team. They got a great defensive line. They can run the football. Uh, they're good in their building. I think the crowd will be good. And uh, now they'd be a little nervous because of falls, but they'd be good. And they have, you know, the Atlanta play in LA all the way home. I mean, um, you know, that is a tricky game for the Falcons. Go ahead. It's, it's a tricky game, dog. I, 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 my gut, dog, is like I said, I'm, I'm going to take the better quarterback. I think everything else is pretty equal except for the home field. I'm, I'm going to at least give Ryan a chance. I, I think the other game is the NFC title game, and I think Minnesota is going to be the first team in history to host the Super Bowl. And, dog, I'm actually even thinking before this, this weekend is to even take a, a, a chance to plus two and a half right now with the NFC on the Super Bowl, just thinking that they're going to have a home field advantage there or some type of advantage. There's something about that Viking team that I love. Uh, Diggs and Thielen are, are, are just – Good enough. They're gonna. They're both of those guys are going to make plays. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that both of those guys are going to make plays. Uh, I know Thomas is going to make a few plays and Kamara is going to make a few plays for the Saints. But what, what I just my gut thinking. I, I thought the Vikings were the best team I saw all year, and I think they're going to take it home. Uh, you know, these next few weeks. Uh, I listen. I mean, up. again, no. I mean, you're down on foes, yet you love Case Keenum. Yes. Uh, yeah, there, there, there are characteristics I've loved about Keenum. I, I think Keenum is also carried by a better defense, by the way. I think the Minnesota defense is better than the Eagles defense. And I also think that the two wide receivers are just are in the coaching dog. If you're going to ask me which coach is better, Zimmer uh, or, or uh, Peterson, it's not even a question. And I know, I'm not, I'm not trying to knock uh, the Saints coach, Peyton. He's a good coach. 
I just think that they're, you know, I, I saw the Saints. They barely beat the Jets this year, in my opinion. I just got a, you, if you shut down Kamara in that running game and Ingram and you make Breeze one-dimensional, I, I, don't, I don't think Breeze right now is Breeze of seven years ago. I think Breeze is a little past that. And if you shut that running game down like they did last week, they're beatable. I, 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 I don't disagree with you on that, and I don't love Breeze on a road nearly as much as I love him at home. Uh, in, in in his career. Now, he's okay. He's good on the road, but he's a Hall of Famer at home. Uh, and I'd be a little worried about him on the road in this spot. Um, and listen, uh, I don't... I, I'm a little worried about the Saints. They did not finish the season that great. And they were fortunate last week. They, you know, they, they weren't great against Atlanta and Atlanta. They lost to Tampa. I mean, they kind of fought it around against the Jets. I'd be a little worried about them. Uh, I think Minnesota will win that game. I do think Minnesota, though, is going to get tight. Uh, I do think having a chance to be a home team in the Super Bowl and not have to leave their beds, I think they could get a little tight as this goes along. I think you got to keep that in mind. Billy is in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Bill, good afternoon. How are you today? Christopher, good afternoon. How are you today, my friend? Hello, William. What's going on? What do you have for me? Let me hear. Chrissy, I have to disagree with uh, with Hayden and uh, your last uh, observation. I like the Saints, Chris. I think they're going to surprise folks. And the reason why, you know, they didn't run the ball well last week, but they have two really good running backs. That takes a little bit of the heat off Drew Brees. And then don't forget, you said it just now, Case Keenum. I mean, can he rise to the occasion in a big playoff game in front of his home crowd and play against a future Hall of Famer in Drew Brees? I think I like the Saints, Chris, and I think I like the Saints to go a little farther than most folks are giving them credit for. What do you think about that, Chris? I, listen, I don't think it's a terrible pick. I mean, I could see the Saints. They, they uh, On paper, they have the better quarterback coming in. Uh, they certainly don't have a coaching disadvantage. They can run the ball. Uh, but they were fortunate last week to get out of that game against the Panthers. The, again, uh, week to week, that's tricky. Road, everything else. I think you got to like Minnesota in the game. Not in front of the hour here on Mad Dog Unleashed. And then- 